game, but he was spotted in street clubs. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. There's the... And the Eagles look to make something happen. And just possessions, one at a time. Let's turn this thing around right now. Go time on three. One, two, three, go time. And with the way that Junior has burst onto the scene, there's some talk going around that he's going to get offers to play at the next level. And he's got such raw talent. There's no doubt about that. But every college can see the ceiling Junior has and wants to get him into their program. He'll have a lot of options to choose from by the time he adds high school. I like the urgency of Junior's drive. Plenty of raw potential there. He could develop into an unstoppable move. Powell outside. Pass to Coral. Williams. Zadirko with the block. The work ethic of Zadirko on display. Great job hustling and timing the block just right. North High in the lead. For three. And that's a lot of rebounds for a player who's not the biggest guy out on the court. The drive by Junior. And the shot goes in. Surging ahead at the right time. Gaining some separation and putting it out of reach. Well, without a doubt, the star of this North High team is Sean Powell. Already going to a major college next season on scholarship. He can do so much. Tougher, that's good. Nice dime. I like when Williams is unselfish like this, feeding his open teammates. Junior with it. Guarded now by Williams. Count the basket and the foul. One free throw coming his way. And that sends Junior to the free throw line. Charles Williams picks one up. Junior, shooting one. And that one misses. Great ball movement. They're sharing the rock. And they're keeping everyone involved and engaged. They probably wish this run came earlier. At least they are showing some signs of life. Something they can build on going forward. Junior. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Eagles are lucky to have Junior, so ready to sacrifice himself on the drive against some stiff defense. At the line for North East. Oh, take a break. Junior. Take a break. Two shots. Taking two shots. And the first one drops. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Outside, Gibson. Pass to Simpson. And there it is, the comeback is complete. What an amazing effort from the Newark East Eagles to fight their way back and steal a game that looked lost at half. Oh, totally. Credit the fans for keeping the Eagles in this game, staying energetic. But the story of the game has to be Junior fighting his way through injury to lead his team in the second half. I'll tell you what, the amount of heart that Junior showed in this game, the passion he played with when he clearly wasn't at his best, that's something you rarely see in any sport. Reminds you a bit of... Players up there. Evan, Chuck, a couple of heavy hits from the NBA even get the early look. Man, this all happening, Junior. How do you feel? I'm good. Focus. Look good, too. <laughs> you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Now, look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo, your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, you know, on in huddles. Every player is an investment. They're going to be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you never done on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? Hendricks, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing, but I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. This is where you belong. 
on the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Home. Oh, it's good. Hey, I'm gonna hit shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up, and the world will open up for you. All right, all right. You need to reel it in now. I'm serious. No, nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just vein in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying you need to worry about your salt intake. I said that's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game's about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. No. This room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, oh, it's okay. Coach, he's with I me. I know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. Is funny to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's he gonna owe you after all this? Nothing. Mm. Nothing at all, Coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Arch. It's all up to you now. Go get him. So as I was telling you, and welcome to the Barclays Center. We're here for the final game in the Battle of Brooklyn. I'm Joe Lamy. Alongside me are Greg Hugo and Danny Hogger. Great matchup in this one. Get to recruit Hendricks Cobb. This team is tops in the country. The depth and talent of the Civic Cats will be hard to match, but the Newark East Eagles are no slouches, and they played with heart all season long. They also have a surprise star in Junior that can provide matchup issues for the Civic Cats. Either way, we'll be in for a treat as the top talent in high school hoops hits the floor. The scouts will be tuned in for this one as the Battle of Brooklyn is on its way. We see the Eagles starting with Day and Junior, the talent in backcourt pair. On the wing, you have Lack, Zadirko and Marseda make up the post pair to round out the starting five. For the Cats, it's the star tandem in the backcourt with Cobb at the one and Davidson at the two. Splitter fills in at the small forward position with a high-flying Teddy Edwards at the power forward spot with Mushi Fresh rounding it out starting at center. And for the Eagles, they're technically the away team in this game, even though it's being played right in their backyard. And you have to admire the effort the Eagles have shown all tournament long, too. They knew they'd have the crowd support most of the way, and they've earned it with their play. <laughs> He's guarded by Marceda. And here's Junior outside. Drills it from deep. Showing how dangerous he can be from there. Junior not afraid to fire away from deep. They just can't get anything going offensively. And you can see the frustration mounting. They just don't know who to turn to for points. To the paint, Edwards. And Dave Zadirko with the block. And that'll be Louisiana's ball as it goes out of bounds. Civet Cats able to keep the ball here. Here's Cobb. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. For the Cats, this is more than just a road game for them. These young men are dealing with the first taste of play after traveling across the country. Yeah, that should be a big advantage for the Eagles, Joe. They'll want to do whatever they can, keep their foot on the gas pedal, and keep the tempo of this game up. Hopefully, that should even out the talent advantage the Civic Cats have on paper. Cobb has a lot of big-time college recruiters coming out to see him these days. He's as hot a prospect as there is in the country, and for good reason. And it's pretty obvious what sparked this run. Terrific ball movement. The guys are focused on creating opportunities for each other. A great start here. Five buckets without a miss. Now Splitter. Pass to Cobb. And good. Coming up the assist by Pooh Splitter. Shrewd play by the Cats. Gets Cobb all set up. He seems very reliable when he can take the shot that he wants. Nails it from beyond the arc. 
they just keep nailing threes. And the defense has to recognize that. Look, times have changed in basketball. You almost have to defend the three first. Here's Cobb. James Marcedo with the block. I love when Marcedo leverages his reach and height on D, able to cleanly deny the shot attempt. Black, good. Come on, where is the energy? Their defense is leaving a lot to be desired. Also, the pride. You've got to put more heart into your defense. And this is the matchup everyone wants to see. Hendricks Cobb versus Junior. They'll be going at each other all game long at their position. Back to Cobb. Drops in the lamp for two. Some nice efficiency from him. No trouble getting his shots to fall now. And here are the Eagles. They lead by 11. And here's Junior outside. Another three Timeout. from Newark Timeout. East. With Cobb and Junior matching up, they're familiar with one another from when Cobb grew up in the area. And that's what makes this game such a battle. You have the history between them and the fact they're both the stars for their teams. A lot of fans and scouts alike are curious about how this game goes for these two. First quarter of play, just over three and a half minutes in. Knocked loose. And here are the Civic Cats now. It's a 14-point game. Fires from deep. And again, Benjamin Davidson with the miss. The drive by Junior. Count that one. They found the soft spots in the mattress that is the defense so far in a nice early rhythm. It's just a matter of continuing to work hard for good looks. And what a moment for both of these teams getting to play here at Barclays. A great setting for a great finale to the Battle of Brooklyn. It's so exciting, guys. You got the top teams from around the country, and you know they want to use the best facility available. It's a dream come true for many of these players to play on an NBA court in a world-class arena. Tremendous effort from Junior. Clashes with some aggressive defense, but manages to release his shot and get fouled. These are his first free throws of the game. And he knocks down the first one. That one's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Wang. Their offense has stagnated. It's been hard to watch. They need a bucket, and soon. Outside, Davidson. Timmerman. Wang outside. Will it go? And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. And he'll go to the line. It's on Christian Sheffield. This is his first trip to the free throw line tonight. And the first one drops. No good on that second free throw. It's Doug Evans on the wing. From about 16 feet out. And that one's good for Junior. Their offense has been firing on all cylinders since the opening tip. Yeah, the D already scrambling to make adjustments before this game gets out of hand. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. And welcome back as we get the second quarter. Both teams making some changes here. And for Junior, the interest in him from colleges has been growing all season long. There's a good chance he'll get some offers from great schools to play at the next level. Wang, now guarded by Evans. Pass to Cobb. Come on, shoot! James Marcedo with the block. A few more boards can make this one closer. The little attention to detail makes all the difference in a game like this. Boxing out being one of them. They keep finding ways to pad their lead, and it just continues to grow. All facets of their game are clicking. They look like a well-oiled machine out there. Outside Cobb. Over Junior. Cobb can't hit. 
offensively, they did a good job in the first quarter of getting themselves to the line, but not here in the second. No, not at all. Everything's been perimeter-oriented, and you have to be hitting those shots to play that way. One second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Cobb. It's good, and he's now 6 for 11. He shot the ball very efficiently today, and they've needed every bit of it. Here's Junior. Count it. It's good. Smart offense. Four of their last five baskets have come from the inside. And that's great coaching. Give your team a chance to shoot a high percentage shot. Newark East grabs the miss. And there wasn't a ton of congestion in the lane. He could have done better, that's for sure. And the shot. He's fouled, and it's a chance for the three-point play. A difficult finish for sure, but Junior loves proving he's up for the challenge. This is his third free throw attempt of the game, and that one misses. One-on-one -on -one fast break with four on the clock. That shot missing. Good if it goes. Doesn't go for him. And so we got a pretty lopsided affair through the first half. Eagles out in front, just dominating this one. And the third quarter of action coming up right after the halftime break. And the second half of the Battle of Brooklyn starting up here. Great game so far between two fantastic high school squads. And it's the Eagles with the ball. And a look at the Civic Cats bench. It's not the most talented, but the group is well seasoned. A lot of seniors who have seen everything this program has thrown their way. What a competitor. He's been looking for his shot all game long. He's really shouldered the load for them offensively. Outside Cobb. That one goes. Count it. And thinking about the Civic Cats bench, guys like Sapita, Timmerman, and Wang, not very talented, but they're experienced. I agree. Certainly they're the last guys you expect to do any real damage out on the floor, but they're really not known for their score. But that leadership, that experience that they provide, that secures their spot on the team. Cobb with it. Junior's there. I like how forceful they've been on the glass, really getting after it. They just look hungrier and more aggressive. The other team looks overmatched. That one falls. Three straight makes to start the second half. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Outside Cobb with the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. This is maybe the prettiest shot I've seen from Cobb yet. Nice, graceful floater, and he gets it to go in. Marceda, defended by Fresh, and he gets it to go. That's four straight makes, still perfect in the second half. And with Cobb playing back in Brooklyn, a bit of a homecoming for him, guys. Yeah, definitely. He spent his early years playing in Newark, right down the road from this facility, actually. And at age 12, his parents moved to Louisiana, and that's really where his basketball career took off. Junior inside, covered by Splitter. They're getting torn apart inside. Time to show some toughness. Yeah, defend with an edge and some attitude. Let them know there will be no more easy buckets inside. Pass to Fresh. Back to Edwards. And Dave Zadirko with the block. The work ethic of Zadirko on display. Great job hustling and timing the block just right. We can't say enough for his individual performance so far, even if the team overall has been lacking in the effort department. 
Now Junior, right side. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he's got his fourth free throw of the game. It's funny to think that not too long ago, Junior wasn't even thinking about basketball. He was focused on football. It's obvious now that he made a good call to switch to hoops. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Another smooth stroke. That's perfect form he's showing us at the three-point line. And one of the most gifted athletes on this team is Benny Davidson. He's a tremendous leader on the floor who just moves so well with the ball in his hands. And with Davidson, another highly ranked recruit, he just makes everyone better out there. Yeah, and I don't know if it's just because I'm a fan, but he reminds me a lot of deer and Fox with the ball in his hand, doesn't he? I mean, he's got that explosiveness to go right at players twice as high and finish with that exclamation point. Teams will make a substitution. Cobb, covered by Junior. And the shot falls! Masterful control. I love how Cobb accepts the contact and keeps his focus on the basket. Here's Junior. The shot from the low post is good. Part of the reason they can extend this lead, they've shot it so well. Just keep feeding them. Look to put this away in the fourth. And here are the Civet Cats now. Side. And he lays it straight in. Clean feed to the wide open man by Mushi Fresh. He's been well coached to identify those kinds of openings. Here's Junior. Count the basket and the foul. One free throw coming his way. They keep going to him and he keeps coming through. He's leading the game in scoring. Watching the way Cobb gets things done on the floor is exemplary. It's easy to see why he's such a highly regarded recruit. Everything comes so easy for him. Just raw, natural ability combined with a great sense of the moment. There's a sense that he'll be an impact player beyond the college level someday already. And this is someone who can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Outstanding work there, figuring out how to score on the D. You see the muscle Junior possesses. Here's Cobb. James Marcedo with the block. And he recovers. Cobb gets the bucket. They're on track here in the second half. After their less than impressive first, I think they came out with some tired legs, but they've turned it around looking much more active. And that's good for Junior. Can't stop this guy right now. Once Junior gets it going, he keeps his foot on the gas pedal. Three-pointer, Hendricks Cobb. It's hauled in by the Eagles. Junior inside, Cobb on him, and Junior gets it to go. Have to respect Junior's courage on the inside play. Defender is just all over him, but he manages to find a way through. Splitter outside. Cobb. And it's gonna be two free throws through the contact on the shot. And without a doubt, Hendricks Cobb, the number one recruit in the nation, we've seen him tonight. A lot of eyes will be on him during this contest. And with Cobb, the number one prospect from this class, without a doubt. He's still undecided on where he's going to school, guys. Yeah, and it's not from a lack of offers. Many major schools have reached out to him already. Cobb knows, though, he has all the power and will make his decision when he's good and ready. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And that sends Junior to the free throw line. Foul on Bean. The Civic Cats making a switch here. And the free throw, no good. And they're running. Outside, Timmerman expanding his range. Connects it from downtown. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Outside, Black. Junior, he's guarded by Wang. That one drops for two. The D must keep Junior out of the paint. Even when they're physical with him, he's capable of converting. Pass to Wang. Zach 
Timmerman on the wing. Bean. It's stolen by Brothers. Here's Junior. And that one's good. And only one injury to report for the Eagles in this one. Junior's still not at full strength. The team was hoping that Junior's knee would have been fully healed by now, but it just hasn't recovered the way they wanted. He'll be available for them, but he isn't close to 100%. He might even be on a minutes restriction. The run has been productive, but I think it's just a little too late. Yeah, but do give them some credit for playing all the way to the end. Other teams might have just given up. And that one's good for Brothers. This run has really put them in the perfect position. And with no signs of slowing, they aim to keep expanding that lead. Zach Timmerman on the wing. The offensive rebound. Bean, no good. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Junior outside. 18 feet out. And yes, the bounce goes his way. Taking what the D gives up. Junior, college scouts love seeing players like him knock down the mid-range J. Zimmerman up top, defended by Lack. There's Wang with the three, gets it to go from long range. Indra with the ball. Park down low that time and gets hit with the three second call. And the Battle of Brooklyn goes to the Eagles. Fantastic end to this invitational as New York East gets the win in their own backyard. What an incredible performance from them. Even though they were the local team, I don't think many expected the Eagles to win this. Gritty performance from them to take down the top team in the nation. And it's certainly a disappointment for the Civic Cats who came into this game as favorites. But they lost to a team that played with heart and put it all together right when they needed to. We saw a great game from Junior as well. And that'll do it for us here. We want to thank everyone for watching the Battle of Brooklyn. On behalf of Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger, I'm Joe Lamy. Thanks for joining us. I mean, what else can I say? So we made it down better than you would be a starter. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't go that far. Well, you got me here. There yep. will be others. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Hey, man, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you too, man. Yeah, yeah. Go celebrate with your team. You deserve it. All right. Man, this is it. College. <laughs> Atmosphere, the tradition, the coaching. It's nothing like it, Junior. This is a good time to get to know who you are, too. Get an education, you know? I mean, there's no money right now. But the path gets easier for you to get a bigger brand once you get into the league because of all the TV exposure. Yeah, like Zion. Exactly, like Zion. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. A few bad games gets magnified. Bad press snowballs fast in college. Yeah, but positive press snowballs too. Exactly. So you want to keep it positive. I know you made a few visits, talked to a few coaches, but the decision is yours. Where do you see yourself next year, Jimmy? Right choice, Junior. Mm. Let's get you on a call with Coach. I know he's going to be thrilled. Oh. I'm going to be keeping an eye on you. You hear me? So if you think you're ready to declare for the draft? Just hit me up. Uh -huh.